How is it going? Welcome to another episode of our Outer Wilds adventure. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to head back to Brittle Hollow. That's where we were in the last one. We got to see the Hanging City. We got to see so much down there and there's still a ton to see. And we also discovered that there is a secret passageway, right? A secret entrance by like where the ice is melting, where there's some water, and that will be a faster way to get to uh, to their permanent like living space over there. I forget what it's called, but hopefully we can find it because it was kind of hidden. Let's go ahead and activate that autopilot, kick back and chillax. I hope you're having an amazing day an amazing night thank you so much for being here thank you as always for supporting this series it has been an amazing ride so far we had so much lore in the last one too i've been really liking brittle hollow a lot look at that and there's the escape pod well i kind of want us to go i think it's going to be the opposite end i kind of want us to go to where the ice was melting <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be melting just yet because maybe it melts after, you know, the volcanic moon starts firing a bit. That's that might be what's happening. Let's go ahead and exit out. I'm also going to be doing a lot of reading today. I want to take a look at the ship log. But for now, let's see if we can find this secret entrance. I remember it was right around... It was right around here. And is it already melted? Okay, nice. It's already melted. Let's turn on our flashlight. <laughs> oh, it's so amazing. Look, it just crashed right there. Now the secret entrance was like kind of tucked away. This is actually it. We found, I cannot believe we just found that first try. Okay, it's confirmed. This episode is going to be amazing. Granted, I did just edit the last episode, but I'm still surprised I managed to find this so fast because I barely looked at where that entrance was. I just knew it was kind of hugging a wall. Um, so there are two ways to go down. We can go down this way or... I guess let's go down this way. Let's play it a little bit safe. Yeah, there's got to be more for us to see here because I never got to use, like, the forge controls... Let's go ahead and drop down. All right, let's see if we can find, if we can find the right spot. Like, yeah, right here. This is it, so we wanna turn this on. <laughs> this is gonna be like our third time summoning this thing. But today, we are finally going to see, hopefully, what that even is, how we can access that. It does have, you know, has black hole forge controls, and we know they were trying to work on the, uh, the warp, the warp, uh, technology, right? So, before, we, maybe we gotta go up here. This game's always such a rush. So, right now, we're on the second floor, which was the Meltwater District, yeah. We already saw the school district, and now we're going to the Eye Shrine District, which, did we do that, like... A little while ago we're about to find out this might be something completely different we saw where they started living where the bridges were all collapsing and stuff but maybe this is gonna be something else yeah oh this is cool man you gotta really watch your step though I mean it's cool I mean it's terrible I mean look I have all these corpses over here but Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be something else entirely. One idea that I'm having right now, one idea that I'm having right now, I'm just thinking this, I'm just thinking about this randomly, okay? I'm just thinking about this. One idea is that, what if, because apparently, what was it? Uh, Rybeck was saying, hey, they all died because of that comet and there was a rupture. What if everybody died because there was some kind of massive, I don't know if it's a supernova. You know, I don't think it was. 
but there was some kind of massive explosion and it just killed everybody instantly, right? Because you have all of these corpses throughout this whole game. There have been so many corpses all over the place in these, uh, these spots. Like, look, this person was, I don't know if this is maybe a bed. It's actually our first time kind of seeing something like that. It is a bed. It looks like that could be a pillow over there. You have all these corpses all over the place and people were just kind of going about their day maybe. I don't know. I am curious though. I want to learn more about that. About how the Nomai all died. Because it had something to do with that comet. Look, they were just sitting right here. There has to be some lore around here or something. Okay, well, there we go. So Solanum, I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin. Solanum was a child on Ember Twin and now they're here they are on Brittle Hollow. So I no longer believe that the eye of the universe the source of the signal wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that. Circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye is in some way is wishful thinking the eye might have called out to any sentient species we just happen to be the ones to answer huh or it might not have been calling out at all and that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning just looking, we're looking so desperately searching for meaning, right? When maybe it's just, just is what it is, right? And you can overthink and now it'd just be crazy because this is like generations that are looking for meaning and it's like the eye, the eye this, the eye that. Can you imagine if it was all for nothing? This wouldn't be so bad, I think. I mean, they're at peace with it. Yeah. That wouldn't be so bad that it has no great meaning, no deep meaning. It's just everything is what it is and they're enjoying life. Hmm. So now Solanum is all older. On Brittle Hollow, let's just go take a look around. I don't know if this is where we came from or not. We can drop down. Maybe that's where we came from, right? Okay, let's just go towards... Oh no, there's something there. There's something here, everyone. Here we go. Ready? Jeez. A bunch of corpses in this one. Cassava. I imagine I've been hard on Poke again. This in turn means I've made things difficult for her sister, Clary. And I've got my notebook here for another episode, everybody. <laughs> and I did write some about Poke last time. They apprenticed to Anona, and we know that Poke is playing a massive role of helping develop this technology for the warp, I believe it was. Interesting, right? So Poke's sister is Clary, and we've been reading so much on Clary as well. So I imagine I've been hard on Poke, but like, why? Why have they been hard on Poke? So if Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I like to shake Poke. Jokes aside, Suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. So they had an argument and Cassava is so trying to find this eye, right? They are very driven, very passionate. I should apologize at least to Clary 
who could then tell Poke. That was definitely worth it. That was definitely worth it as long as we can get back. Sir, oh gosh, okay, 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 sorry. I'd, I'd never want to like step on the corpses. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go, well done team. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like really noticing the corpses this time and it was like something just completely wiped them out in one go. Boom, it was like, like a shockwave. And we know it was the ruptured core. All right, what do we have here? What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so Imagine how much it could teach us. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. Oh, what happened? Oops. Um, the eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Okay. What is the eye of the universe? And then everybody's answering, right? The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Maybe some more advanced being. Um, it's older than the universe. Now, being older than the universe, imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? I don't know. <laughs> how would that work? How can the eye be older than the universe itself? This is, this is going into a whole other thing, man. You know? Way more than we can grasp. It's like, Wesley it can do something with time. It's like, what transcends time? You know? This is like some interstellar level of thinking right now. How, how can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. Oh, now that is interesting, actually. Gosh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine? The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. Oh gosh. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. Right? We know that it's older than the universe. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find the source. What we know is this, the source of the signal. I wonder if this is all the same from the shrine that we saw on Ember Twin. Either way, you know, I'm gonna read it no matter what. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest, we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Ah, ship log updated, we just learned something. Open your mind. There has to be more. Oops, sorry, I just wanted to look. Huh. Wish we could access our ship log, you know? While we were here. Got this character right here. Hmm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Here's a, this will work too. We 
we got all that, we got that, we go up here. Is there anything else? We discovered below. We discovered below there was a little something on the other side, but... No, like, scrolls here for us, you know? We got that one, and I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Okay, so let's just move on. Just look right there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna move on. Uh, that was phenomenal, as always. So now we're gonna go one level higher, huh? <laughs> and for our next stop, we are going to somewhere else. I think this is... Oh, it's blocked off. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hopefully this side is okay. Okay, it might be. What? Oh, dude, did it just break? Wow. How? How would we get there? Now that is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all really being tricky right now. I might, gosh, I might try jumping on the thing. No shot would that work. If we activate the forge. Hmm. Oh, we actually, I wonder if we had seen like a projection of this. Maybe you gotta access it from the other side. But now, like, the thing is blocking our view. Hmm. We'll figure it out, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. We got this. See, there's one more up here. The Black Hole Forge District. <laughs> but we can't get there. We can't get there because the thing's broken, and I don't know. The thing that's so tough is because I just don't know if it's broken because it was broken or if it's broken because the you know volcanic moon is out here destroying everything we actually need to go on the second level so interesting though how would you do this how would you do this right My goodness, look, that just collapsed. This is so tough, man. This planet is uh, it's no joke. Oops. We got this. We're fine. Everything's okay. I'm going to go back here. And try to figure this out. How? Go, 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 go. Where are you gonna go? Oh, that's just all the way down there? That's not too bad. I actually think I might be able to do that fast enough, honestly. Just turn it on and then make a leap of faith. We don't have that much oxygen. <laughs> Is it going? Oh, and of course, we're fine, we're fine. Darn it. Darn it. I think I just missed it. How is it upside down? You see what I mean? Like, you definitely, you definitely can teleport there. A hundred percent, you can teleport there from somewhere else. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is this supposed to be the Ash Twin? It might be the Ash Twin, man. Because there they had it for every planet. I just don't know if it would teleport us 
to this part of Brittle Hollow, or is it going to teleport you on the other side? See, I wish this glass wasn't here because we could definitely make that jump. This is definitely not what you're supposed to do. I'm going for it. Well, crap. Oh, man. All right, well. That's not what we wanted. Losing all our oxygen. Hopefully they have some extra in here. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be this one. Man. Well, this is, uh... <laughs> This isn't good. This is definitely not good. Man, okay. Hmm. Well, I guess while I'm here, let's go ahead and just read up on some things. Because we just, we found out so much info, so it could be good to, uh, to read a bit. See if we're missing anything else. I mean, look how much we discovered, guys. Escape pod three, yeah, still looking for that, and the vessel is huge. <laughs> See, this leads to the quantum moon. It doesn't say we're missing anything right now, so that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Okay, so I've just been kind of reading here, and there is a ton, a ton of info here. And you have, like, the rumors that leads to the next thing and the next thing, and... Yeah, these are, like, it's just a sentence, but there's a lot of information uh, here, right? It definitely can be overwhelming, but it is awesome. So the question is, what should we do now? We're not missing anything there. It's not saying that anyway. I would love to figure out how to... <laughs> I would love to figure out how to enter... That black hole. Uh, forge, but... I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to do that. How do we access the top? Okay, well, here's something we haven't really looked at. Let's see, maybe there's like another entrance. This is going to be that energy cannon, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and leave this. Yeah, this is where that cannon thing is. Okay, brittle hollow, hollow projection stone. This is that other spot that we kind of want to get to. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, I don't think we've been there specifically just yet. Is there going to be more somewhere else we could use this? Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go, everyone. Solanum, I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Dude, you did it? 
bells. <laughs> That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Wow, come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I would love to be able to do that today as well. We've got unfinished business there. Bells. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Solenum, my gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, we might head over there as well. Pretty darn soon. Yeah, it's probably like right around there. What else we got here? This lifts you up. Okay. Okay, we have that. I just want to make sure nothing else around here. This is all looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop down. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a big drop here. Hmm. Well, at least we know we can come back up. Anything else below? Oh, there is something here. Okay, so the crossroads, but it's all busted now. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I can't wait to activate that and see what it, what is it gonna call over? Again, one of these on Ember Twin, but it was from the shuttle that was, that was on the comet. The Southern Observatory, which we also, I think, need to see. Oh, there's so much to do, guys. There is so much to do. Now, how do we want to go about this? I'm going to go the safe way. We're just going to go around. Okay, so this is leading over here. Where is this going to go? The crossroads as well? All right, let's see what this is uh, referring to. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Uh, we're calling this shuttle home. What? What happened? What happened, dude? Did it work? Wait, wait. What? Oh, it's here. It's here, dude. Oh, I didn't see it. It was so blend. It was blending in. <laughs> It was blending in, guys. It's already here. I thought maybe it glitched out. Uh, not the game, but just like, they're like, no, you can't do that. You can't bring it from the quantum moon. Wow, this is our second shuttle. This one's not even covered with all the ice. Oh, wow. Okay. So awesome. Solanum, I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. <laughs> Yo, tell me, what do you see? What do you see on this moon? I am ready. Oh no, dude, that's it. Don't give me just that. Oh man. He actually got there. How did you do it? How did you do it, Sonam? Aw, oh, man. Alright, I'm about to- we're just launching, guys. I'm gonna launch this in a moment. Once the sun's out of the way. <laughs> so we don't just, uh, faceplant right into that. How did you do it? How did you land? You guys ready? Because this run's basically done. 
What the? Send me! Here we go. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. Goodbye, Brittle Hollow! What is that? Do you think that's Dark Bramble? Has like the red spot. That's it, everyone. That is it. And we're pretty much dead. Unless this thing will protect us. <laughs> nah, we're dead. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, we had some discoveries there. But I don't know how we access the black hole forge yet that I'm still trying to figure out I think you got to access it from a different spot I guess I mean let's try getting there as fast as possible and maybe it won't be collapsed if that doesn't work we're gonna have to pivot pivot we have to pivot a little bit think of something else uh, there's still plenty for us to see though I would love to figure out that like you know tower of knowledge quantum knowledge or whatever it was <laughs> that'd be pretty amazing especially because we just heard solenum was able to uh to get there to go on the moon i want to be able to go on the moon so we can go for the crossroads would be kind of fun would be pretty fun to go investigate but um We'll do this for now. I actually think the entrance is right over here. And if this doesn't work, we can always, you know, run it back. Dude, get me out of here. All right, we have all our oxygen. Let's see if we can find this really fast again. It was like tucked in. Yeah, we're doing pretty good with this. This is what you do. Eventually, you just kind of speed run it. I kind of want to test this out. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was fun. <laughs> nice. Well done, everyone. Well done. That was cool. Um, now, I mean, is there an entrance down there I'm not aware of? Alright, we have the whole bridge. The whole bridge there. Go. No, no, don't break it. I seriously, I feel like I just heard something break. It's definitely already broken, man. It's definitely already broken, but how? How do you get there? How do you get there, is the question. <sighs> All right. All right. That's what it is, Outer Wilds. You're gonna make me use my brain. I respect it. I respect it. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Just yet. I'm seeing that warp core though. So I think it has something to do with that. I think it has something to do with that right there, that warp. So lucky. Well, we only lost uh, some precious time. It's not like time is everything in this game. And we did, we did send it up. So maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way for us to access it still, but we can go check out the crossroads. We haven't really investigated that yet. That might lead us again to like the moon. Uh, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, I should say. 
And that would be cool. Okay. Here's our ship. We're gonna run it back a little bit. Dude, don't turn out the lights. <laughs> okay, see what we can find. Are we learning the layout of this planet a little bit? Check that out. We're gonna see what they mean by like crossroads and stuff. You guys ready? This one's to the crossroads. We know there's nothing else. Okay, that's where our scout is. Let's take a look at what they mean by crossroads. It's so crazy dark. Hello! Where the heck are we going? Let's keep following these things. <laughs> There's the crossroads, man. There's, there's gotta be more. This has to lead to something. That bridge is collapsed. Let's go look around this way, just on this side. Hmm. Not sure, but heck, there's something here. Okay, this brings you down. Brings you down somewhere. <laughs> they have these pillars here. This is gonna bring you down somewhere probably important. Just wanna double check on this side. This is like a labyrinth. I think the Tower of Quantum Knowledge is, is somewhere around over there. Okay, this there is somewhere for us, good. Oh my gosh. Bro, Ryback. <laughs> Ryback, where you at? He's way down there. Okay, we have a couple different options here. We have a couple different options. Here we go. The Hanging City, we already saw that. Gravity Cannon, we did that. How about this? Gravity Crystal Workshop? Gravity Crystal Workshop? I, I don't think we've seen that. Gravity Crystal Workshop. Oh! Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is new. That's always exciting. So we're gonna learn about how they put all those together. You really got the breeze out here. Yo, I can't believe we missed this. It's on the outside. Oh. Okay, this looks safe from this side. We have going on in here. There's a sleeping bag. Ah, uh, is this where Ryback used to be? Or is it gonna be Feldspar again? The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with Harrowing because of the, um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing around it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. 
I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay, so this is definitely Ryback, right? <laughs> oh, Ryback. And they have their supplies, which is probably why we don't have... Um, we don't have, like, fuel here for us. Unless I just completely missed it. I'm surprised there's not anything to read. Come on. Give me something. I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say I'm surprised. It's uh, pretty, pretty broken up around here. Got the... Hmm. It's like all right there. So that was the gravity workshop. That's pretty cool. Yeah, at least we got closure on, <laughs> on that. So our ship is way over there right now. This is a tough planet to navigate, man. There's a whole layer above and below. I would love to try to enter the observatory it would be really cool, but you need to do that from below. Let's go ahead and check this. We're looking pretty good. All right, we'll just head back down here. <laughs> need to be a little bit careful though. Oh, come on, man. Where's this going to lead us? So the crossroads, this one's gonna be to the west. Let's go ahead and use those paths, like where Ryback is. Is he like right there? <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> Let me see if he has anything new to say. What's up, Ryback? Oops. Um... I learned something. Okay. I found a know my escape pod. I saw the hanging city on Brittle Hollow. There we go. Like that's new, right? You visited the hanging city? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you know what is <laughs> so close to a you know what is beyond me to a black hole right there, right? Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Hmm. True. True. Okay, let's get out of here. See you later, buddy. Um, I want to go on these. How do we get on like that thing? I know I just saw it. <laughs> it was like the energy wave. Here we go. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Yes, please and thank you. Send me to the, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We are going back. <laughs> Nice, good job everyone. Ah, uh, we might not have enough time for this, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Because they were trolling here last time. It's like you get this. How do you get up there? You know what I mean? How do I get up here? Unless like, is anything gonna be moving? I don't think it's one of those situations. No. <laughs> There's got to be like another entrance or something. Hmm. Okay, not anything on the first level. But that's the thing. I don't think even just by design. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a couple of pieces. Can they see me? <laughs> hmm. Ah. Uh, everything's collapsing. Oh gosh. Every time, every time. Is this, is, are we falling? Are we falling? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we just fall out with it? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 dude, please. You can do it. Don't give up guys. Don't give up. This scout, I'm on the wrong end. I'm on the wrong end. Go on the other side. <laughs> you have to access it when it goes through the black hole. Oh my gosh, guys, please. Please, we can do this. I can't believe, dude, this design. That is actually the answer. That is brilliant. Okay. Outer Wilds, you stumped me. You stumped me with that one. I didn't. I'd even think to do that. That happened by accident. I'm going to admit that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is that is an awesome feeling, man. That is an awesome, awesome feeling of just closure. And now we're going to discover how to get on the quantum moon. But that is just amazing level design uh, from the Outer Wilds team. That is so cool. It makes sense. Now it makes sense, right? Everything does when you know the answers. Okay, so... Do we have anything we can use here, though? I didn't miss something. You gotta give me something. Come on. Here we go. We have a scroll. We really want that answer of... Where, uh, what we're we supposed to do. You know, to get on this moon, because apparently the answer is here. Okay, so we've got a couple different things. I'm gonna place this. <laughs> I'm gonna place this right here. Okay, here we go. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us, those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. This is just so awesome, everyone. <laughs> so I like am loving learning about this right now. It's amazing. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Three minutes of oxygen. Oh, wait. Are my eyes playing tricks on me, dude? That thing just fly? I don't even know. Okay, Bells, welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep. What? And are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. You you did your preparations on Giant's Deep? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, the tower on Giant's Deep. That's right, that was so fun. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. 
you'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. We know that you teleport to the south pole, right? To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. <laughs> okay, dude. Ah, oh, this is crazy, man. The shrine's gotta be on the moon's north pole. How do you get onto the moon? Right? They're telling us what we gotta do to explore the sixth planet. What the heck am I supposed to do to even... I don't even know how to get to that step. Because there's a step before that I still need to figure out. Okay, to the moon's north pole. Give me some answers. Come on. Be curious on your journey. Oh, dude. That can't be it. We're just drifting off through space, into space right now. Why? What? Dude. Is there floating? Is there anything we're missing here? Because they have the projection stones, so I, I feel like there's there is something we're missing. Like, I wonder if it's... It better not be floating around in outer space. <laughs> this is definitely the end of the line here. Uh, for us. Now I gotta remember if there was something... You know, we were supposed to bring here. There's no way that's there just uh, to be there, you know what I mean? The tricky thing is, if there was something here, it would be floating. You would see it because we have no gravity. Oh, man. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time left, everyone. No, we definitely don't have a whole lot of fuel. We just got oxygen back, interestingly enough. Um... I come on give me something more give me something more look it just moved it just moved oh okay hold on I knew I saw something move so right now it's at the eye is that what that means or it's playing that music which is really interesting Really interesting, it would start playing that music when I just said that it looks like a supernova and it's about to be a supernova. So maybe that's an indication, like, or something, you know? Okay, so it's the quantum trials. I gotta go back and see. We learned on Giants Deep. Your arrival here means you completed your preparations. The shrine must be on the moon's north pole. So I wonder if you actually look at the moon, can you actually see? Can you actually see this shrine? Yeah, you're ready to depart because we learned on Giant Steep. I mean, we learned, we learned a lot on Giant Steep in that tower. It was all about looking, not looking, everything is teleporting around you, which is what this is doing, right? Like, it is teleporting around us. Well, I don't know how far away we are. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. But yeah, we're dead. We're dead. I really want to go see this quantum moon, but we still also have things on Brittle Hollow that uh that we need to see as well and this is going to bring us to the sixth location <laughs> which is so uh so cool i gotta go back to our ship log so much okay what do we got 
There's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Gravity Cannon. Yeah, to learn one final rule before embarking on her pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Yeah, they built a shrine. The Nomai built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to fit its to its sixth location. Oh, I wonder if it was the specific order. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if like it jumps from one planet to the next, right? And it was actually in there. It was actually in there. I don't know if that was important or not. What was the planet? <laughs> I might need to go back and like see the footage again. But there was, it, it would, you know, move. It would always move to a different location. So maybe if you phase, I don't know. Maybe if you phase through it, if it goes to the location before, I don't know, man. This is insane, man. This is insane. This is really important here, though. This is super important. The Tower of Quantum Trials. Because to do your quantum journey, this is how you do a quantum journey. And the moon itself is a quantum, like... Yeah, right? It was like this. Yeah, like a... The quantum shard, the quantum shard, it came from the quantum moon. So to do your first quantum journey, follow these rules here. Obser observing a quantum object, that's the moon. If you're observing the moon, observing an image of a, a quantum object, these are the same. The Nomai called this the rule of quantum imaging. Oh, dude, remember the quantum shards have other lessons to teach. They have other lessons to teach. They, I mean, I wonder if you need to utilize all of the lessons that you learned in order to actually make it onto this moon. So we know like lights out means that you teleport with it. That's interesting, right? I don't know if that's anything. Maybe when you start flying, you turn off your lights. <laughs> and then with like a picture, dude. With the picture. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object. That's the same exact thing. Can you fire a scout from your ship? Hold on. Wait, wait, do I have my suit? <laughs> Before we do all of this. Sorry, press the button again. Okay. Dude, is that the moon right there? Is the moon directly behind me right now? Where is that giant steep? I'm like facing everywhere about the right way because I keep looking at... <laughs> oh! Oh no, it's just giant steep. I mean, it is behind giant steep right now. There's no way. Do you think that's too out? Like, it's too far away? Let me see if I turn away if it, if it stays there. Ready? Ready, guys? It's still there. It's picking it up. Hold on. Hold on. Match velocity. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, dude. I just... I definitely just lost sight of it. No, it's still here. It's still here. Okay. Let's match velocity. Oh, gosh. What did I just do? Oh, I just... Sorry, I was trying to... Uh... This is going to be a little bit tricky now, man. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh my goodness, bro. What is happening? <laughs> this 
Dude, get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Is it still there? It is still here. No, 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 no. It just completely loses itself. My gosh, this is this is crazy, man. Please. This is probably like the worst planet we could try to enter this from. I'm taking pictures. I'm taking pictures. I don't know if it's going to count. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's go! What the heck? It's water. Yo, it is scary. This is terrifying. And it's raining? Dude, this really is like interstellar. With the giant... Well, you know what, I'm, what I mean. With the mountains. Is this always here? This is, this is unreal, guys. This is unreal. What the heck? Is this gonna be the shrine? Yo, in honor of all the fallen. Unidentified source. Quantum moon, quantum moon. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, I have a theory, guys. I have a theory. I have a theory. <laughs> Dude, I have a theory right now. I think we have to use what we learned. We learned we just used the picture, and I think this right here has to do with making the lights go out. But what's this? That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it. Oh, and there's writing here. But I, I think if you close the door, you make the lights go out. It's gonna be pitch black in here, and I think this right here is gonna move to the next spot, and then eventually you can get it to move to the eye. Let's see though. Yeah, you have recalled the rule of imaging. I'm, I'm sorry, of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. <laughs> quantum entanglement. Is that, is that basically... I don't know the specific word. I don't know the specific word, man. Quantum entanglement. Um, is that going to be like where you turn out the lights? That is so amazing, guys. And that is the actual quantum shrine, and you need to know that that is the actual shrine. So that needs to be in the South Pole. Um, quantum entanglement. Man, quantum entanglement, is that supposed to be when the lights go out? Let's go ahead and repair this up. Oh my gosh, dude! His shuttle! His shuttle is actually here. This is amazing. And you're officially here. Yo, check it out, guys. I am ready. And then he dropped down like this. This is the most... Unbelievable. Oh. 
Gosh, I don't remember. What are the two yellow dots? There are two yellow dots here. On the map. And like, do we actually need to, to enter from the other side? Let me see what happens. You close that. You guys ready? Right now we're right there. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on outside now? <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, dude, it changes with each planet you're on. Can you actually enter these? That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. No, you can't actually enter that. They have a different design for each one? And is that what, is there anything else here other than just like the looks, like the terrain has changed. I gotta be really careful. No, no, no. I don't know if it's worth it. I think it's like playing tricks. This feels like a Silent Hill. Like it's not real. Let me shoot one of these. Nah, there's nothing out there. It changes with each planet, guys. Oh, no, no. Like, where's our ship? Right? It's not even on this planet anymore. And the shrine is just always here. All right, let's move. Let's move again. Ready? We're actually at the location. How do you do this with the ship, though? I almost don't even want to see this, but we're going out. We're going out, man. Oh, they blocked us off. <laughs> No, they blocked us off because we weren't in the right spots. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. This is so, so amazing. Are we going to see oh, oh, the sand waterfall? It's going in reverse. This is unbelievable. Wonder if we'll find our ship again in on the other uh, on the other planet. So let's try. I think south is blue. Is it? It's kind of tricky. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll see this. If this doesn't work, then south is definitely blue. And they've told us before. Here we go. That's so cool. It's so cool that there's sand here. And you really gotta lock this up. I mean, it feels like a magic trick. <laughs> Yo, secret code word for this episode is going to be magic, all right? Do I dare look out there for Dark Bramble? Do I dare look when we haven't been on Dark Bramble yet? 
is so tough. It's so tough. Oh, this is so tough, man. Gosh, I can't help it. It's like a creepier version of it. I say let's do it, dude. We're on a quantum journey right now, everyone. Okay. It's very rocky. Very rocky. Okay. There wasn't a whole lot to see here, honestly. Um... So now we're back here. Oh, wow. Um, wow, and we actually ended up here. Oh, guys. Oh, there's our Shep. Please! Oh, they really, they really trolled us with that, man. No! Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. And we're back on Giant Steep, everyone. I better go, at least go say hi to, uh, to Gabbro. <laughs> Isn't the answer of how we enter down there on Brittle Hollow? Wasn't that something else? Maybe in the observatory. I'm running out of fuel. Where, where are you, man? Unless that is like the sixth location, is like the inside, the core of Giant's Deep. But the answer is there, so we do need to go to that observatory. That was, uh, dude, that was unlike... Um, my mind is still registering it. I would love to be able to go where Gabro is. It's uh, pretty darn tough, though. Yeah, this might be him. <laughs> Gabro! Yo! Dude, that's not Gabro. You're just so slow. Yeah, fuel level's critical right now. Alright, send me out there, coach. Come on. What's going on here? <laughs> the heck is going on? This one's like rejecting us. Our ship is like directly above us right now. Oh, if we can land this, that'd be amazing. Ship! Yo! Ship! <laughs> Come on. Come back this way here, ship. Come here. Don't send me back, don't send me back, please. Just launched us again. Uh, we're losing oxygen. It's not looking good for us. Alright, I'm just gonna hope that we land where Gabro's at. Nah. Well, everyone, we had a good run. There are trees here. I mean, this is just a fight. A fight for survival. <laughs> are they about to lift this one up? It's like following us the whole way. Hello there. I'm just suffocating while all this is happening. And now I'm dead. Outer Wilds blew my mind today. That's like 14 days. I think this is like episode 14-ish, right? That's like 14 days of this game just rocking my world. The quantum moon was so much to, to process. That was amazing. Yeah, I think I think you it's a it's a puzzle, I think. I think you need to navigate through the moon by going through the different like the different planets when it's uh orbiting those different planets, and you gotta make your way to the South Pole, and then from there you're gonna be able to enter the sixth location. Now we know how to get there. So that's actually really awesome. Oops. Dude, stop. <laughs> stop talking to them. 
That is amazing. And I wonder if anybody else has anything to say about that. Like if we talk to Gabro or if we talk to Ryback, if we talk to any of them, if they have anything to say, that was unreal, everybody. You know, it's so funny. Going into today's episode, I definitely didn't think all of this was going to happen. I figured, let's go to Brittle Hollow, explore some more down there, but I definitely didn't think we would solve the Quantum Tower. And that was completely by accident, and sometimes the best things happen just naturally, right? You can't predict it, you can't plan for it, and look at us, we got to discover the Quantum Tower, and we also got to go on the Quantum Moon, which was so amazing, incredible design teaching you the rules right it was incredible and we had a lot of really fun lore moments as well so i'm definitely looking forward to playing some more i really hope that you had some fun today i really do thank you so much for watching for all the love all the support if you had a good time and you want to help me out press the like button it really does help the channel and i'm trying to grow so it would mean the world and a massive shout out to our channel members and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting this content creation journey. Y'all are the best of the best. Stay safe, everybody. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you soon. Later, later.